darlings, welcome to Tea with Justine. We are in one of my favorite places ever, Bath, England. And there are basically three main things you've got to do here. One, obviously, visit the Roman baths. You can't actually take a bath there anymore, but I hear there are hotels that have spots where you can indulge in bath-like activities. Um, and one in particular has a rooftop bath. Secondly, for all you Jane Austen junkies, this is the town to visit. You can go visit her old aunt's house, which they've turned into a museum, and indulge in all the Jane Austen glory of your dreams. Finally, you have to come to Bath to visit Sally Lunn Buns for the famous Bath Bun, which apparently Jane Austen also enjoyed. And you can have a lovely afternoon tea there and then take a stroll and visit a few other sites. It's a lovely little town, a great day trip from London, or a lovely little weekend around here. Celebrities love it too because there are several that have bought houses here. I don't know who all still lives here, but anyways, I love this place and I'm excited to show it to you. Here we are at Bath Abbey and I love visiting this place so much. It just has such a bright and positive energy inside so I always go in and light a candle, say a little prayer. Check out the architecture. The outside is gorgeous, the inside is magnificent. The stained glass windows from the inside are just something magical. It's beautiful. Definitely visit the Abbey here in Bath. Tastes like iron. You know, I've visited the Roman baths three times and it continues to fascinate me every single time. It's just so much history. You're walking amongst the ghosts of Romans. Maybe the goddess Minerva is there laying her mystical touch on us. When you visit the Roman baths, you can buy a single ticket or a saver ticket, which gets you in to the gallery as well as the fashion museum so we're gonna go check out the fashion museum because I've never been and I love that kind of stuff especially fashion through the different periods so let's go Yeah. 
Oh man, that fashion museum was fabulous! It was everything I could dream of and more. And there was a lot more in it than I expected. It actually took a good amount of time. And we got to play dress up. It was great. It's like time traveling through fashion. Although for Chris is a little more painful. So maybe if you're with someone who's not as into fashion, this might not be the best place for them to come. But I loved it so much. Highly recommend it. We are now approaching the Jane Austen Center where they have built a museum out of the house she used to stay in when she visited her family here in Bath. And you might find caricatures outside. It's just down the way from the Fashion Museum as well as the Royal Crescent. So it's a nice walk around this area. Here we are at Sally Lunbun's house. Who is Sally Lun, you ask? She was a Huguenot refugee who came to Bath, England in 1680. And she lived in this house here behind us in 1680, which is one of the oldest houses in Bath, built in something like 1482. And Sally, her real name was actually Solange Lyon. When she came here, she got a job in the bakery and her English colleagues couldn't pronounce her name, so she became Sally Lunn. As fate would have it, she introduced England to the brioche bread and baked a version of brioche similar to what she would have had at home, and thus the popularity of the bath bun spread. Now let's go get us some buns. Inside Sally Lund's house, one of the oldest buildings in Bath. We're gonna enjoy some buns and we're gonna tour the house a bit. <laughs> Darlings, this is the Sally Lun bun. You get half a bun, and as you can see, you probably don't need more than half. And mine is covered in a deliciously melted cinnamon butter. Mm. I'm so excited to dig in. Also, since traditionally you only get half a bun, you never know if you're gonna get the top or bottom. So it looks like Chris got the top part of the bun. He got the bun top, and I got the bottom. That is heavenly. Okay, so the buns are delicious. You can have them um, sweet or savory. The house itself is cute and lovely and cozy. And the museum is literally just a little tiny room downstairs where you can see where she would have baked the buns before and and there's a tiny little shop where you can buy some buns and jams and teas to go so that's sally lund's house there we go darlings a lovely day spent in bath the romans did a good job with the city i have to say and if you enjoyed that adventure remember to subscribe to our channel Follow us on all your favorite social media platforms so we can discover the world through tea together.
see you all next time. Doodles.